Hi viewers, this is Alex Tech Solution. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to show you how to clone a hard drive to a SSD SATA. And I'm going to show you what the, uh, the item that you need to buy and the software that you need to use to clone your uh, hard drive. In this video I'm going to clone the hard drive on this laptop, HP, that has one terabyte of hard drive. And I'll be, I'm going to be using this SSD. So I'm going to clone this hard drive to this SSD SATA. And the item that you need to buy, uh, the one that I'm using is a Sabren ex external docking station. And it's connected to the USB port. This one I bought on Fry's, but you can buy online too. You can find on eBay or Amazon. Uh, they have different types. They have the ones that is just like a, an adapter without being a dock station. I chose this dock station because it's easy just to put the hard drive there. And this one can be used the 2.5 inch, also the 3.5 inch too for the for the desktop PC. Now you have to download the software to clone. The name of the software is called Macrium Reflect. And then uh, you go to the website macrium.com and then you will see Macrium Reflect 7 pre edition. Then you click on home use. Then you're gonna start downloading the file. Click exec. And then now you're gonna have to download from the their server. This is a great program I've been using for many years. It's free. And now I'm going to copy the files, click next. Now it's going to start, going to start installing the file, click next again. Set next. You're gonna ask what free edition license do you require? You just click home. Next. Would like to register if you got the make room re reflect. No. Next. If you want to install a desktop shortcut, you can do it. I don't need it. So, finish, here you said do not remind me, and now you just open up the program. So, so what I have to do now, I have to connect my, I have to turn on my docking station on, right? To connect to the computer and if you see my the this computer it has a this computer has one terabyte hard drive right and the one that I have the SSD I have is 512 gigabytes you go to property it's not shown oh yeah show right here in general 512 gigabytes ssd so i want to clone from your my laptop to the this ssd 
So sometimes uh, your laptop won't recognize your S external SSD. In this case, you have to go to this PC and right click and then click on manage. And then you gotta go on the left left tab here. You see storage, right? Under storage, you see disk management, and you click right there. And in this case, uh, I connect my I had connect my uh, the external dock station. I just turn it, turn it on, and then you show here the disk one. But in some other case, if the SSD is new or something, uh, it won't recognize. So you have to, what you have to do, you have to go here and you have to, you have to activate the hard drive in order to, for the laptop to, your computer have to recognize the, the SSD. Yeah. So after you've done that, now let's start with the software now. So right here, right? Okay. Um, so you go here, this is your uh, this is your hard drive from your laptop right here on the top. So you want to clone this to your SSD, right? So you have to click here on the clone this disk. It's not showing available right now. Let's see why. It's supposed to. Let's see. Oh, yeah. If you don't see, you have to click refresh here. Now you see your SSD here on the bottom, right? Okay. Now you click on clone this disk and then select the disk to clone. You click here then you show because i've used this uh, ssd before in other computer so it has you know some partitions here so you have to delete everything so just click here on delete existing partition so you delete everything there it's going to be clear right and now what you have to do in my laptop you see here on the top right um, my laptop has on the hard drive has four partitioners. One is recovery. Uh, another one is um, some other uh, like data there. And this one says unform unformatted unformatted primary. And this one NTFS primary this is the C drive here the last one so we have to copy everything we have to yeah we have to copy everything so what you have to do first is you grab this the first one right the recovery one that it says here so you so you 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 drag, hold this with your mouse or, or whatever and then you drag and drop here on the disk two. Now, so you get the second one, you do the same thing. Then you get the third one, you do the same thing. And then you get this one and drop here. Okay. Now, so it's all set now. And then you click here on next. I'm going to show you later how to use this clone partition properties. So now you click on next. Click on next again. And then finish. And 
then click hit OK. And then you click continue here. So now start loading, loading. Now I have to wait. It's gonna take I don't know, depend on your computer, it may take like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, or it can take less. If you are cloning uh, like SSD to another SSD, you will go faster, of course. So it all depends on, uh, on your computer and also the type of hard drive that you're gonna clone to. So I'll be back when this is done. Hi, the clone just finished and now we show clone complete and then you press OK and then here you can close then you can close the program and it's ready now now you just swap your uh, SSD to your uh, hard drive and it's ready to go if you have any question leave the comment below see you in the next video